Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, already we have talked about so many Laplace transform formulas. So this video will help you to recapitulate all the Laplace transformation formulas that we have done so far. Right. So let us go through the summary video. So you can see that the first law says, the first formula says, that when we have an exponential function, its Laplace transform is 1 upon s minus a. When we have t to the power n, powers of n, then the Laplace transform is n factorial upon s raised to power n plus 1. And sometimes it is also written as capital gamma function n plus 1 divided by s raised to power n plus 1. So here you can see that n factorial is nothing but the capital gamma n plus 1 function, right? Then the next formula says that if we have to calculate Laplace of sine a t, then it is a upon s square plus a square. Similarly, Laplace of cos a t is s upon s square plus a square. So the difference in cos and sine is for cos it is s upon s square plus a square. For sine a t it is a upon s square plus a square. Then we have similar formulas for sine hyperbolic at and cos hyperbolic at. For cos hyperbolic at, the formula is same as cos at. The only change is then in the denominator instead of plus, we have a negative sign. Similarly, for sine hyperbolic at, it is a upon s square minus a square. Then for a unit step function ut minus a, it is e to the power minus as upon s. For a direct delta function, delta t minus a, the Laplace transform is e raised to power minus a s, right? So now let's come to the next set of formulas that we have done in the videos. So the scaling property says that if we have to calculate Laplace of function of a t, so we have scaled t with a. So then the result is 1 by a Laplace of s by a, right? So it is the function capital F function of s by a. Then derivative formula says that the first derivative d of f t by dt Laplace transform will be s times f s minus f at 0. Likewise the second derivative formula is s square Laplace of f minus s f at 0 minus f dash 0. And similarly, you can carry on with this derivative formula. The third derivative formula will be S cube, Laplace of Fs, Laplace of Ft, which is F of S, minus S square F at 0, minus S into F dash 0, minus F double dash 0. So here you can see that the powers of S will keep on decreasing and the derivative power will keep on increasing with every term. Then the Laplace transform for the integral Laplace of 0 to Tft dt, we have 1 by s f of s. Then the first shifting property, whenever along with the function we multiply e raised to power a t, then what will happen? The function will get shifted to s plus a. Second shifting property with the function, if we multiply a unit step function, then the result is in the answer, we have exponential function e to the power minus a s multiplied along with Laplace of f of t plus a. Then multiplication by t, when we multiply the function f t with t, then what happens to the Laplace? It's Laplace, we have derivative minus d by ds of f of s. So the same formula can be replicated for power n, t to the power n. So when we are multiplying with t to the power n, f of t, then it is minus 1 raised to power n nth derivative of fs <coughs> and then we have division by t 1 by t ft is integration s to infinity f of s ds so here you can see that when on the left hand side in the laplace we have integral it gets converted to a division formula and on the right left hand side when we have a division formula it gets converted to an integral formula Likewise, when we have multiplication on the left hand side by t, then it gets converted to a derivative formula in its Laplace. And when we have a derivative formula, then it gets multiplied into a multiplication by s formula in Laplace run. Right? So these formulas will help you to recapitulate the entire chapter of Laplace transforms. So you can go through these two tables and this will help you to re remember all the formulas. And once you are able to understand all these formulas, then we are in a stage to go to the application part. 
So my next video will focus on how to apply these formulas to calculate the solutions of differential equations using Lattice transform. So thank you so much for listening to me. And if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. So believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you.